working with that tinted glycerin has just totally fascinated me. And when I worked with it the other day, let's get another piece of wax paper out here. A smaller piece. This will be a palette. When I worked with it the other day, I put the glycerin, well, I either put it here or I put it on the paper itself. This is a Canson 140 pound watercolor paper. It comes in those big XL pads. And I cut it down to fit my journals that I'm working on. This is glycerin, and I either poured in my glycerin on there, and then I tinted it with FW inks. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to see, I, I got some of this Jacquard powder pigment, and gold, of course, and I want to see if this will tint my glycerin, if a powdered pigment will tint my glycerin. So I'm going to put some over here on the side. This is the first experiment. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Lift and peel. Well, let's put it back in here. So you can see there's some powdered pigment in there. I'm going to use a palette knife. Let me just pull out a little of that pigment. I don't know how much I'll need. But let's just, oh, maybe that's even too much. Let's just drop a little of it in there and see if it will dissolve into that glycerin. And oh, yes, it does. Oh, isn't that beautiful? So let's see if I can zoom in on that. This was my first experiment. This is glycerin, and I put some of that powdered pigment in my glycerin because I wanted to see if it would dissolve in there. And yes, it does. It's beautiful. So that answered that question. I knew the inks would, but I wanted to know if the powdered pigment would too. Oh, it's beautiful. Now, the second experiment that I want to do, and I want to do it right here. So what I want to do is instead of, I just want to, I want to create a more draw, perhaps, or paint with my palette knife on this. I'm thinking an, an oval shape. I'm still thinking picture frame here. So let's just bring this out.
here's my finished page. Really, this is a page I developed from my original experiment of tinting glycerin with this Jacquard gold pigment. And it tinted very nice. I painted it on in an experimental frame up here. And then I added some FW inks in here and just kind of played around with the frame and then I embossed it all with clear embossing powder. I'm really happy with how that turned out. And then I thought, well, I have a frame, I need a picture. So I went and got one of Tim Holt's found relatives photos from his found relatives photo pack. And I just started developing an art journal page such as Elizabeth would have developed it in her own art journal. And Elizabeth would be this young girl in white. And what she's saying over here is there were five of us in my family. My name is Elizabeth, and I am the middle one with an older brother, Philip, and an older sister, Laura, and two younger brothers, Jess and Jake. Being in the middle is best because I do not have to take sides, just me. So I just developed this fictitious art journal page such as perhaps this young girl would have been journaling about her brothers and sisters. And that was really fun. I really enjoyed doing this. I'm going to use this as the March Old and New prompt in the My Creative Year Facebook group. This was a really fun experiment. I hope that you've enjoyed watching me work with this glycerin and the pigments. It just has been an interesting technique. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next page.